For at TV, the world is thinking. Uh, right now, I'll go quickly through the zoo of planets uh, with a few examples that have been found. Uh, I don't know what the count is. I never know. It's over 250 extrasolar planets that have been discovered so far. And so the question that we're all interested in is how our solar system compares to these other planetary systems. Our solar system, of course, has not one planet, but has oh, eight planets. I have to mentally update from nine. <coughs> the low mass planets are the most common. Okay, more common than the gas giant planets. Most of the planets themselves have moons. The planets orbit on nearly circular orbits. And yet, if you looked at this, if we were on a planet around Alpha Centauri, looking back at the sun, the only planets we'd be able to detect with our current technique are Jupiter and maybe Saturn if we look for 30 years. Okay, but it's, it's the kind of project that our children sort of have to inherit. And only one of these planets is inhabited, which raises real interesting questions about what does it take to get life, that spark of life, prebiotic chemistry to go from something in a chemistry jar to something that crawls around and reproduces. The planets all lie in a nice plane. That makes sense because that's how they, they form in a circumstellar disk. So this is a kind of cartoon sketch just to give you a sense as we talk about extrasolar planets. Jupiter is 300 times, 317 times the mass of the Earth. The planets all lie in a plane, and they all orbit in the same direction, with the same sense. Um, and one question, which I don't have time to di really discuss, this is just a brief introduction, is are these planets in stable orbits forever, okay? Do we have this vast open space, or why is there so much empty space in our solar system? Can't we plunk down some more planets and have them survive? And so one of the most interesting things to me, big picture about extrasolar planets, is that in fact, um, if you try to plunk down another planet, the other planets take notice and the whole system begins to fall apart. You, you lose some planets, they're ejected, or they fall into the star. And so our system is full of planets, is as full as it can be, and still remains stable. There are very few places you could drop in even a moon-sized particle into our solar system. Um, the, the solar systems that we're finding now, remember I said, of course, our planets, the planets in our solar system are on fairly circular orbits. We're finding some bizarre examples of planets that go in very eccentric orbits. So this, the star is always at the focus of this ellipse, and so the planet comes diving in close around the star and then spends most of its time out here in the cold outer reaches. That's not likely to be a very uh, uh, enticing place for biology to, to sort of get a toehold because there's such huge swings in the temperature. Upsilon Andromeda is another case <clears throat> where we've got three planets that were discovered. And uh, so we can begin to, to build these cartoon uh, engineering sketches of what the solar system looks like. And when we ask whether these are stable planets with, in, with vast empty spaces, the theorists tell us that no, they've actually tried dropping planets in to the solar system in the inner part, and none of them survive. And so this is a case where we found three planets, and it appears to be pretty full of planets. So we're finding multiple planets are not just an odd curiosity, then in fact about uh, <clears throat> half of the systems where we find one planet we find a second planet eventually. And you can see already that I'm using some of the artwork from Lynette Cook uh, because the sort of data that we collect uh, isn't, isn't so inspiring. 55 Cancri is the last system that I'll show you. It's uh, kind of similar to our solar system in that we found a planet that orbits way out here at a distance similar to Jupiter. And then it's got uh, some inner planets around it. And the count on this star is that we're now up to five extrasolar planets here.